Come in. Justin, how are you? Uh, I understand. It's, go ahead and take your hoodie off, take off your coat. I want you to feel really comfortable with me today. There's a bottle of water over there. Yeah, yeah, I want you to feel comfortable. Come sit down, come sit, is it? Oh, Haley. Oh, I didn't expect. How are you? I love that you're here for, for support. I want to sit you guys both down. Congratulations on the wedding and the marriage and all of that things. Justin, I want to sit and talk to you. And thanks for coming in today, Justin. I, I wanted to sit down to you face to face and talk about some of the things you called me about prior to sitting down. And I want to talk face to face about everything. Um, I want to get into just first off the uh, racist remarks when you were a kid. I want to know. Justin, have you gotten over those traumas? And what I mean by traumas, I mean the traumas that you have now with the backlash of these videos that have now surfaced. I wanna give you props of the way you handled this situation. I see that you are putting up a fight against racism and not just black people, but against any ethnicity, right? And I appreciate you for that. I'm proud that you have brought light to the ignorance that you were giving as a child. Unlike some of your colleagues in the music industry, um, you've brought some light to your situation by yourself. And you wanted to be proactive and changing the perspective of yourself when it comes to racism. So you decided to put a post up on Instagram and say, yeah, let's put a fight against racism and stop this ignorant mess and I appreciate you for that, Justin. No, you don't have to put your hat down. It's okay. It's okay. I'm proud of you. Good job. I want to hope that that's genuine. I want to hope that you do mean these things and you really do push the initiative of stopping the ignorance that is racism. I, I appreciate that for you, Justin. So I want to just brush past that. Now let's talk about yummy. Let's talk about yummy, Justin. You know, um, I don't think that yummy was a smart decision on your end, okay? I feel as though maybe you thought that you could come back after five years and give us mediocrity. No, that's not the case here, Justin. Can we grab hands? Can we grab hands? Listen, Justin, listen. I want you to understand that you are still Justin Bieber, but that does not give you the right to release trash. Yeah, and you know, if you've been releasing this pop hybrid R&B and sound for a while now, and I feel like, I'm, Justin, I feel like that I'm, people are now over it. Yeah, yeah. And Justin, listen, listen to me, Justin, listen. You've gotta let that marinate, and I think you have to be accountable for that. You have to accept that. I think just like you, Justin, your audience is now grown. Yeah, your audience has grown up, Justin. And you've got to adjust to those changes. You know, um, I want you to know that, uh, I want you to know that over those five years that you've been gone, Justin, the musical taste of your audience, Justin, has changed, you know? So when you come out with the yummy, 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 yum. And then you come up with a lackluster music video with the choreography that looks very cringy. And I know that you can dance, Justin. Hey, hey, pick your head up, baby. No, 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 no. This is not for you to feel bad. This is a safe zone, a safe spot, Justin. Yeah, Haley, rub his leg. Yeah, yeah. With the mediocrity that you presented to us, you can't expect a huge return. You can't expect a number one song, Justin. I'm sorry. And that brings me to the next thing we talked about on the phone. Um, making fans buy music, even if not a U.S. citizen. I want to talk about that. I want to write this down here. Making your fans stream your music and put in um, inflation in your numbers, Justin, is not ethical. Uh, it's not what I expect from a superstar like you, Justin. You have to realize, baby, you are a superstar. You are, 
you know, iconic to a certain degree. Um, and you are a world-renowned artist, so for you to play this low ball because you're not getting the numbers that you thought or you think that you deserve doesn't really make sense, and I don't think that's right. You can't release a song that is really mediocre as much as Yummy and expect it to beat someone like Roddy Rich, who is going to bring something to the table that's more organic of a pool, something that people can really connect with. I don't think people can really connect with Yummy. Justin, yeah, now let's hold my hand. I don't think people really can connect with Yummy. What are we talking about here? You know? Let's talk about 25 year old Justin now. Let's make music that now your 25 year old audience and maybe some of your younger audience can connect to. Ah, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Justin, yeah, yeah. I feel like you're bigger than this, Justin. This bitterness, this begging almost. You're bigger than that. You're better than that. And some of me feels as though you feel that you can adjust to this new age of pop music. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, being in the age of the Shawn Mendezes, oh yes, there's no more Austin Mahone. You've got rid of him, but you can't get rid of Shawn Mendez. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't want you to get flustered. Don't get angry. Don't knock over that vase. It's from Home Goods, but I still paid money for it. Calm down. I don't feel like you know how to really adjust your music to what the new age of pop music is who came out over 10 years ago, Justin. It's time to switch up. It's time to evolve as an artist and stop grabbing these popcorn tracks. And what I mean by popcorn tracks, I mean yummy. It's time for you to start making music that's legendary, Justin. Being honest, Despacito is legendary to an extent, but it's not even yours. Hey, Justin, hey, hey, this is not a place for you to get angry, okay? I understand. If you want to play in this arena, if you want to play in this new arena, you've got to come as a new player. You've got to humble yourself, Justin. You've got to come as a new player. You can't leave for five years and think that you can just come back and get number one. Don't be DJ Khaled. Don't do that. I mm. also want to talk about the Lyme disease. Yeah, yeah, it was very coincidental. Justin, I have to admit that you released this information around the time of your single declining. I don't believe that you're doing this for attention. I don't at all. However, come um, I, I don't want this to be perceived as a marketing tool. We don't want your health to be a marketing tool for your music. I want again, you're bigger than that, Justin. You are a superstar. We don't need that, okay? I hope that you don't think or anyone in your label thinks that that's gonna help push your music. You don't want pity around your music, Justin. You don't want pity around your image. You want people to look at you as Justin Bieber, the artist, not the Justin Bieber that released a subpar song and has Lyme disease, so we listen to the song. That's not what we have. That's not what we're doing here, okay? Here's my advice. Make this next era, this next album iconic. It's time to grow. It's time to grow. You've grown as a human being. You have a beautiful wife. You have a beautiful life. It's time to now invest as much time you put in your personal life into the music, if that's what you still love. If you're doing this for the attention, Justin, or just feel like you're on top again, your intentions is going to show in the music, hence yummy. So put, hey, can I grab both? Hey, Haley, give me your hand. Justin, give me your hand. This is beautiful right here. This is beautiful right here. Put this same love and the same energy in the music and take your time, Justin. Let us see you evolve. That's all we ask for as fans. Let's make your next single something to remember and not something that's gonna fall from the billboard quickly. Okay, Justin. Justin, let's make our next single something to remember, something iconic, something you can feel proud of. And nothing that sounds machine made, if you know what I mean, Justin. I wanna give this to you. I wrote some notes here for you, Justin, this is for you. So go ahead, take that home, read over it. If you have any questions, give me a ring-a-ding-a-ding. All right, all right. Thanks for visiting, Dr. Tired Ass. Thanks for visiting, Justin and Haley. My receptionist Tiffany will give you an update on a new appointment if need be. Thank you.